all major platforms. Loud and clear. My soul's burning bright. Yeah. Yuto Hino yeah. and his <laughs> friends have been summoned <laughs> to the world of Polygon. Yeah. Coming out November 21st, 2024, at number one, we've got Divine Dynamo Flame Fritz, which is technically a two-dimensional action adventure inspired by classic games and anime. Well, this one, as you can see, features a top-down 2D action stage-like setting with a first-person combat, allowing you to directly block attacks and fight with your sword before making a counter-attack against your enemies and bosses. Divine Dynamo Flame Fret here promises a blend of strategy gameplay and nostalgic charm. It's coming to PCs, Switch, and all of the consoles as well. Let's switch to first person! Slice away at enemies when they get close. Ha! Flame Saber! A fantastical adventure of magic and armor awaits. Divine Dynamo Flame Friend. Coming Winter 2024. Up next, Shrine's legacy sweeps players in a world where a couple of young heroes must restore peace using ancient gemstones and magic. Well, this game is an action RPG that combines single player and co op gameplay, puzzle solving, and challenging boss fights across a lush, pixel art landscape. You get to unlock elemental powers to fend off evil forces and ultimately seek a legendary sword that belongs to the shrine. It's a mystical adventure with a rich storyline and immersive gameplay plus co-op and solo play modes keep gameplay engaging. At number 3, Last Moon is an upcoming action RPG that brings a nostalgic feel with its own watch to 90s classic. Scheduled for a 2025 release on multiple platforms, in this game players are immersed in a mystical world where they can explore battle and puzzle solving alongside a friend in its newly announced two-player co-op mode. This mode dynamically alters puzzles, demanding teamwork and offering a fresh twist to each challenge encountered in the game's richly crafted atmospheric setting. It might just be a treat for fans of old-school RPGs with modernized gameplay elements. At number 4, well, Cloa, Child of the Forest, which we've talked about before, takes players into a pixel art world steeped in magic. Set to launch in 2025, this game follows young Cloa, the forest's last hope to restore life and peace to the wilderness. Players get to explore stunning biomes, solve nature-inspired puzzles, and face off in melee and range combat using a katana and magic. With a rather touching story, this indie gem blends top-down retro action and environmental storytelling that recalls the best of Legend of Zelda and Ghibli Studios aesthetics. <laughs> 
set for release in February 2025, More Cells, the game, brings a rather quirky top-down roguelike where you play as a mouse navigating a very freaky chaotic world full of creatures and magic. Actually created by Annapurna Interactive, this action game centers around the mouse protagonist learning to transform into various creatures or morsels, each with unique abilities. With a roster of swappable characters, you'll battle cat overlords and confront enemies in unpredictable settings, making for endless strategy possibilities and a unique, replayable experience. Coming in 2024, we've got Creature Keeper. Well, you basically take on the role of a creature keeper, I'm technically a caretaker for a pack of creatures that you tame, train, and grow into a battle-ready team. Basically, each creature can be outfitted with custom-crafted items and accessories, making them both formidable and fashionable. As you progress, then cooking and farming also add depth, allowing you to craft powerful foods that bolster your creature's abilities. This title's nostalgic pixel art and world-building charm promises a rich RPG experience full of exploration, discovery, and strategic battles. Coming up behind that, we have Mina the Hollower. This is the latest game from Shovel Knight's creators, Yacht Club Games. It's an action-packed retro-style adventure inspired by Castlevania and The Legend of Zelda. The game basically puts you in the shoes of Mina, a whip-wielding hollower, exploring a dark, monster-filled land with an old-school aesthetic and a catchy 8-bit soundtrack, featuring smooth, responsive controls, customizable weapon upgrades and deep dungeon exploration. Mina the Hollower promises a heartfelt journey perfect for fans of classic action games. Coming in at number 8, we've got Hazelnut Bastille. This one takes players on an adventure reminiscent of classic 2D platformers. You'll step into the shoes of a young Hazelnut, exploring vibrant environments filled with puzzles, quirky characters, and charming enemies. The game's unique visual style and engaging gameplay mechanics, such as a crafting system for gear and abilities, promise to create an immersive experience. With a delightful narrative woven through the levels, Hazelnut Bastille is sure to captivate both old school gamers and newcomers alike.
Up next to number 9, we have Arison Force. Well, this is basically an action RPG that features a high definition pixel design. Arison Force is coming from a Kickstarter campaign, and has already made twice its campaign goals. But there's much more to go. This game is coming to Switch, PCs, and other consoles by the end of 2024, and developers just released a new trailer for it this morning. Arison Force actually combines the engaging RPG story with the stylish action combat experience. If you're rooting for a good action-adventure RPG inspired by classic Zelda games like Minish Cap or Four Swords, The Girl from Arcania is one of the good ones. It's a pixel art treasure hunting adventure that follows Marisa and her capybara companion, Cappy, as the explorer of the jungles of Amazonia. This game actually features a top-down perspective, rich lore, and gameplay elements that include exploration, puzzle solving, and combat. Although the game was successfully funded on the Kickstarter, its release date is still yet to be announced. Aether is another upcoming action-adventure set to release in 2025. This game is confirmed for all consoles, but a specific launch date hasn't been announced yet. And while details on the gameplay are still limited, it is expected to blend deep exploration mechanics with fantasy setting. It's set in a 2D open world inspired by the golden age of RPGs and lets you choose from a variety of skills, collect or craft unique weapons and armor. It also promises to deliver immersive storytelling and atmospheric environments. Coming in at number 12, we have the game Fountains. Set for release possibly December 1st this year, the game will be available on all platforms. It's a indie action adventure RPG that promises a mix of exploration and engaging narrative. It also supports full controller functionally and will be distributed digitally. Although the specific gameplay details are still emerging, it is definitely drawing attention for its indie roots and is anticipated by those who enjoy action-packed, story-driven games.
Wendell is an action-adventure game with a charmingly unique twist. Basically, in this game you play as death, accompanied by a pig, as you restore balance to the world. This one draws heavy inspiration from the classic Zelda series offering top-down gameplay, dungeon exploration, puzzles and item-based progression. Its visual style is simple yet charming, evoking a gothic, slightly quirky atmosphere that contrasts with the game's humorous undertones. The pig actually plays a very important role assisting death throughout the journey. Undermine 2 is the highly anticipated sequel to the original Undermine, a roguelike action adventure released in 2020. Now set for release in 2025, the new game builds upon the mechanics of its predecessor, widely introducing new elements. Players return to the underground kingdom of Delvmoor, where the struggle between King Faram IV and demonic siblings unfold. It then features procedurally generated dungeons filled with treasures and dangers, new relics called Arcana, grant abilities like fireballs and time manipulation, undermine to support single player and two player co op, and more. And last but not least, uh, we've got Elementalist. This is another action-adventure game inspired by classic titles like The Legend of Zelda, slated for release on the Nintendo Switch and other consoles in 2024. The game promises players an immersive experience as they control elemental powers to solve puzzles and explore a beautifully crafted world with a nostalgic yet fresh approach. Elementalist focuses on dungeon exploration, environmental puzzles, and a rich story about restoring balance to a world out of harmony. Thank you. 